Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am excited to show you how to control an LED using an ESP32 and a simple web app. Let's dive in. Here are the materials you will need for this project. An ESP32 development board, an LED, a 220 ohm resistor, a breadboard and some jumbo wires. First thing first, let's set up the hardware. Connect the anode, the longer leg of the LED to a GPIO pin on the ESP32 through a 220 ohm resistor. I chose GPIO pin 13 as the output pin. Finally, connect the cathode, the shorter leg of the LED, to the ground pin on the ESP32. The hardware setup is complete. Now let's move on to the code. I will be using platform IO in Visual Studio code for this project. Let's create a new project. Name your project something like ESP32 Web LED Control. Next, choose your board. I am using Duit ESP32 DevKit V1 and set the framework to Arduino. Once that all set, click finish. All right. After creating the project, open the platform io.ini file and set the monitor speed. Next, open the src folder and find the main.cpp file. The complete code is available on my GitHub. And the link is in the description below. Here is the code to control the LED via a web app. Let's copy the code, delete the sample code, and paste it here. All right, let's break down the code. We started by including the necessary libraries Wi Fi.h for Wi Fi connectivity and webserver.h for running a web server on the ESP32. Next, Wi-Fi credentials. Replace your SSID and your password with your Wi-Fi network credentials to connect the ESP32 to your Wi-Fi. We create an instance of the web server on port 80, which is the default port for HTTP. We define a Boolean variable, LED state, to keep track of the LED's current state that is on or off. Following, we define the HTML content to our web page using a raw literal string. This content include a button to toggle the LED and a script to handle the button click. The handle root function serves the HTML content when the root path is accessed. Next, the handle toggle function toggles the LED state and update the web page with the new state. When the toggle path is accessed, it inverts the LED state and set the LED accordingly. In the setup function, we initialize serial communication, set the LED pin mode and connect it to Wi-Fi. We also define the routes for the web server and start the server. Finally, in the loop function, we handle incoming client request. This function continuously listens for the HTTP request. Now let's upload the code to our ESP32. Connect your ESP32 board to your computer using a USB cable and click the check button at the bottom to build the code. If everything goes well, click the right arrow to upload the code. Once the upload is complete, open the serial monitor to get the IP address of your ESP32. Okay, my ESP32 has successfully connected to Wi-Fi and here is its IP address. Enter the IP address in your web browser and you should see our web app. Click the button to toggle the LED and you will see the LED state change on the web page. And here you have it. You have successfully created a web controlled LED using an ESP32. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tech projects. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.